Welcome everybody to the SAP and SUSE Roadmap Session Road 1088. My name is Tobias Kutning. I am leading the SAP Solutions Product Management Team at SUSE. I'm happy to have Andreas Jäger, Senior Product Manager for our SAP Solutions with me today. Andreas and I will provide an overview of what SUSE is doing today in the SAP space and where we are going in the future. On the agenda for our session today, we first have an introduction to SAP and SUSE, followed by a look at our focus areas, security, automation, reliability, and very important innovation. Next on the agenda, we'll take a look at some highlights among the projects we are working on. Final topics are a look at the roadmap for SLES for SAP applications and information on other SAP related sessions at SUSECON 2023. Let's jump to the first topic, introduction to SAP and SUSE. Today, SUSE is the world's largest independent open source company. SUSE's market leadership in the enterprise Linux for SAP business is a result of the long-standing close collaboration, agility, and co-innovation with SAP and the ecosystem of partners. SAP HANA, Data Intelligence, and SAP Business One are just some of the SAP products that are developed on SUSE operating systems. Over the years, SUSE closely collaborated with SAP and the ecosystem of partners to deliver new SAP solutions first to the market. Examples are SAP HANA 2011, SAP HANA System Replication in 2014, and SAP Data Intelligence validated on Rancher uh, Kubernetes Engine in 2021. These are just some innovations to name here. As a result, SUSE is the market leader the vast majority of all SAP applications on Linux and SAP HANA installations are running on top of SUSE at the Linux Enterprise. We support different infrastructures from on-prem to hybrid to cloud, from AMD Intel to IBM Power and also ARM. All SUSE Linux Enterprise products across the platforms are optimized for performance, security, reliability, and automation. This approach enables you to Simplify the administration of your IT environment and modernize your IT infrastructure. With the SUSE Rancher portfolio, we make the move to containerization and Kubernetes smooth and can help you to accelerate the pace of innovation of your IT. SLES for SAP applications is also endorsed by SAP. SAP endorsed apps are a new category of partner solutions that SAP regards as proven solutions to complement and extend SAP products and to deliver value quickly, easily, and with support from SAP. From a product perspective, SLES for SAP applications contains SUSE Linux Enterprise Server, plus the high availability extension, longer support, and support via SAP channels and subspecific tooling like HANA HA Resource Agent, SAP Monitoring Automation, and HA config compliance via the new Trend console. SLES for SAP applications provides features like HA tooling consistently for all deployment types like on-premise, bare metal, virtualized, or cloud. SUSE supports the customer's choice on the right platform for their needs. With the SUSE product and solutions portfolio, you can achieve truly high-class operational excellence. Automation management, monitoring, security, and IT modernization is made easy by our best practices, tools, and products and solutions. SUSE supports you extending your SAP landscapes as needed and gives you options to innovate your systems using the SUSE Rancher portfolio. Now let's take a closer look at uh, our vision and our focus areas. Our mission is to provide the most reliable solutions and best experience for IT departments running SAP workloads on Linux. You, our customers, are at the center of our efforts. We focus our work on your priorities, compliance and security, automation and management, reliability and uh, availability, and also innovation. We are expanding and maintaining our existing SAP solutions while also innovating and building the future of SAP solutions in close collaboration with SAP partners and with you, our customers. Compliance and security. Compliance and security is one of the most, if not the most important topic today. Everybody we hear 
every day we hear about another hacker attack on companies, states, and even private persons. There is a strong need to be prepared for and protect against attacks on all levels of the IT environment. The enterprise-grade Linux for SAP applications for enterprise-grade Linux SAP applications, there are a number of must-have security and compliance features. These features are also at the center of our focus. OS security hardening for SAP. We provide the best practice guides, open SCAP profiles to audit and perform hardening, and we provide hardened images starting, from, uh, starting in the cloud. Security certification. We consistently aim for even more increasing our already high security standards. SUSE, for example, achieved the highest possible levels in the Common Criteria Certification, EAL4+, STIC, and others. Secure supply chain. Recent large security incidents like SolarWinds or Mimecast were related to insufficient supply chain security. SUSE demonstrated, demonstrated highest levels of supply chain security, achieving SALSA framework compliance. Strong cryptography. Strong cryptography is the basis for data safety. SUSE is FIPS 142 certified and FIPS 143 uh, compliant. Our second focus area is automation and management. As, to, as today, there is a shortage of skilled IT staff for numerous companies and also a need for constant improvement in efficiency, we are aiming to make administration of our systems easy, automated and efficient. This means we provide tools, scripts to automate uh, the deployments of systems, which is called A1 operations, and also operations of the running system, called Day 2 operations. With tools like Terraform, Salt and Ansible, and SUSE Manager integration, we help to make operations easier so that administrators can focus on the important topics. With SUSE Manager and our new Trento console, we bring automation and management to the next level. So the manager can manage your even large SAP landscapes in an automated and auditable way, and is even capable of managing other enterprise Linux distros and also containers. Trento includes monitoring and visualization of your SAP landscapes, especially for HA setups, and provides configuration checks and recommendations. SUSE has put decades of knowledge and best practices into code in Trento to make operations even more reliable and secure. The third focus area for our team is reliability and availability. In the area of high availability, we are proud of our long experience and we are constantly delivering robust and high quality HA solutions. We cover all major scenarios for SAP HA and are continuously improving them. On the innovation side, we are working on the HA concepts of the future. For monitoring, we provide content for modern monitoring tools like Prometheus and Grafana to provide useful insights and alerts that can be acted upon. We are also co-innovating with partners like Intel to make our monitoring even more useful. We provide best practices written as code, written and as code to support configuration management, also supported by our tools like Subtunes, Subtune. Trento even can even help you to identify configuration deviation, deviations called also drifts. Last but not least, we support a seamless downtime, optimized execution of the Linux software lifecycle with kernel and user space live patching, even in a fully automated way with the usage of SUSE Manager. Last but not least, let's talk about innovation. While we put an emphasis on long-term support and planning safety for our SAP customers, we are at the same time also looking at how we can build the future. With SUSE ALP, the next generation enterprise Linux being on its way, and this will be the bridge to the future. The SUSE SAP team is currently working on how to leverage the possibilities of ALP in the SAP space. With the portfolio of SUSE Ranger, we enable customers to extend their landscapes using cloud native technologies and concepts like containers, Kubernetes, and microservices. The Ranger portfolio here, Rancher RKE also plays an important role for SAP products like data intelligence, like data intelligence. How Harvester and Rancher Desktop can be leveraged in the SAP ecosystem is currently evaluated by the SUSE SAP team. Finally, a very important topic 
for innovation is confidential computing. Encryption of data addressed, that means the storage, and encryption of data in transit, that means network encryption, is already available. The latest addition to these features is the encryption of data in process. The data of a VM or soon also of containers, this is true confidential computing. Especially for regulated industries, governments and companies require an extra level of confidentiality, a feature long awaited. SUSE is working closely with Intel, SAP and Microsoft to bring this new feature to the market. Let's take a look at some of our project highlights now. We already discussed some focus topics before, so let's dive into the details now. Combining the different security parts and building blocks creates the Secure SAP platform. Starting from secure supply chain and security certifications to security features like hardening, encryption and vulnerability management with live patching. The secure platform is also based on SAP platform operational excellence. Best practices, automation, high availability and monitoring and continuous configuration validation are some of the ingredients that result in a reliable and trusted platform. Last but not least, of course, SAP knowledge is vital to build the secure platform. With our best practices written and as code, we support here as well. Some of the projects we are working on in, this, in the SUSE SAP team and that I want to highlight are live patching and hardening. For live patching, we are collaborating with SAP to see how to best leverage user space live patching with SAP HANA. For hardening, we are building pre-hardened images available from cloud providers and continue our efforts here. Across the whole SUSE portfolio and across all levels, security is a key topic and the foundation of our strong products. No matter if it's SUSE Linux Enterprise or SUSE Rancher portfolio, security is key. In the SUSE SAP team, we are constantly looking for ways to further improve security, looking at how products like New Vector and others can be leveraged in the SAP space. Now I'm handing over to Andreas for the next topics. Thanks, Tobias, and um, thanks for the overview. Let's go a little bit deeper into a couple, a couple of key areas, and we're starting with automation and management. Um, I want to look into what we're doing here with Salt, with Ansible, with Terraform, and with Trento. Um, so first, let's look at um, setting up a system um, with, with Salt. We have deployment automation here um, that can set up a complete system, a SAPANA system, an S4HANA or NetWeaver, single node or, or cluster in an automatic way. Um, and that works in the public cloud or in your data center. And we have two components here, Terraform provider um, that creates the infrastructure for you, plus um, Salt scripts that deploy and configure the SAP solution. Um, and all of that can be integrated into the manager and, and just to fully autom automate the setup. Um, the other option here is um, going with SALT. And um, here we collaborated with a couple of, um, next slide please, Tobias. Um, and here we here we collaborating with, with a couple of, of partners um, to build day, day one automation, that's the current focus, but, but then also day two automation, but also planning tools and, and other use, useful tools. Um, those are currently community supported, but we, we are working on them and will support them and integrate them into the product as, as well. Um, for the Ansible book, for, for Ansible, what, what we have today is um, we have a repository as well as AP roles that allows you to set up um, with those endable roles, um, allows you to reuse them um, in your SAP environments. So those are basically Lego blocks, um, building blocks that you can use for end-to-end -end automation, um, and you can plug them into your existing um, automation and improve them, or use what we have and, and start, start your own one. Um, we use those, for example, to set up complete SAP environments um, as part of our testing efforts ourselves. Um, so next step is if you have set up a system, you need to tune your system correctly. Um, SAP has written a couple of um, or ma many SAP, SAP nodes um, that describe um, how to set up your system in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a correct way so that you get the best performance out of it and you run a, a stable system and have a, um, a certified solution for HANA. Um, and that all put in, into, into um, Subtune, um, which allows you to tune your system automatically um, based on the workload that, that you run. Um, 
and uh, you can create customized profiles with, with, with your local changes that, that, you, that you want um, and apply them. And also do that in a, in a staging environment. So first set up in your know, staging environment and then further with the same configuration file. Um, current version is version 3.0. We, we, are, we are in the process of releasing version 3.1. Um, key highlights of, of that one is um, colored highlights, error messages. So you see here on the right side the, the, red, the red information. Um, there are errors in there um, that you should look at. And um, we have also um, look, improved the um, configuration files. So inline comments are, are possible. Um, the version section got, got a rework. And we have JSON outputs, so machine readable outputs that can be integrated into other tools, for example, like in, in Trento. And um, let's talk about Trento. Trento is our um, check and um, our, our web console that is targeting the SAP base ad admin. Um, to check, monitor, and operate a com complete cluster, and um, it provides a, a clean and uh, a, a clean web web console um, and that gets updated any any any, any time. Um, so it allows the discovery of, of an SAP system, shows you all the systems that that, that are there. Um, so basically, gives gives identifies the databases and and the application server and, and the clusters on the that one, then validates the stack. Um, for now, we have implemented HANA Scalar Performance Optimizer. And that's the most common usage. And um, on, on all kind of, an, of environments, it will point out any problems that it finds um, and then give a description on that. You can click on those descriptions and it, it, it explains you in detail um, what is wrong, how to change it, and also gives a reference to the appropriate guides. It integrates with Grafana Prometheus to give, give you money monitoring. And we will enhance that as, as, as well. Um, and it also includes email alerting. And if you want to learn more, um, the session 1015 um, that will give um, by Alberto, where he, he will explain um, in detail all those features and will also give, give a couple of demos um, to showcase Trento. So let's look at the next area, um, reliability and availability. And here I want to highlight um, high, our high availability stack plus um, live patching. Um, so let's go first into um, high availability. Um, where we have developed together, um, um, where we have developed uh, um, a couple of automatic ways to, to set up um, your, your cluster. So we work together with with various partners um, on how to best in integrate that. And as you know, you can set up, let's say, a HANA in a, in a spe specific way with a high available setup out of the box. Um, but you always have to manually switch from primary to secondary and vice versa. Um, but, but what happens if you're not available, if, if you miss a notification, et, et, et cetera. So you want to do that in an auto automatic way. And we have, for the most come, for, for the majority of, of the scenarios that, is, um, that are available, we have, um, we have automated all of that and, and set it up so that we figure out, can we do, um, in a case that, if, if, that the node goes, goes down um, or crashes, um, that um, we will automatically take over to um, start bring up the other, other system and, and use it as, as primary. And this works for, uh, for HANA itself, but, but also for the NetBeaver stack in a variety of combination. Um, to um, improve on that, we have um, we are constantly working on improving this, um, working together with customers what we learn from them. So for example, we have um, simplified the mount structures for, for NetBeaver. Um, in the past, before that, you had um, the mounted file system as a separate resource in the, in the cluster software um, that needs to be managed, and only the primary node had, the, um, had all the directories mounted. So during a failover, you had to unmount them and remount them on the other node. Um, this is now, now changed. Um, the directories stay mounted the whole time, and there's no need to unmount, which makes it easier, uh, which makes it um, and simplicity is with high availability is the key what you, what you need to achieve. Um, another area we worked on was with, 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 with a customer here. Um, that customer and a couple, a couple others were, were hit. Um, that the HANA index server was, was, was failing, was, was, was crashing, and that took a long time. Um, 
that can take, if you're re running a really large database, um, uh, half, half an hour, but, but also multiple hours, depending on, on HANA version, etc. Um, so what, what, what happens is normally that, that HANA itself notices um, the index server is dying, it waits until it stops and then starts it again. Um, that takes time. Um, so we have implemented now a hook um, that gets notified from HANA um, as soon as HANA not sees that the index server is, is dying. Um, we take, and, and then you can, that's, that's optional, you have to configure it. Um, then you can do a fast failover to the secondary node. Um, let's let the other node um, do, 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 the, do the cleanup start and become, become a secondary in that case. So that allows you, instead of length, a lengthy wait for shutting down the index server, it allows you to do a quick failover. In addition, um, we've worked on documentation. Um, so we have now a, a new overview document um, for supported high availability solutions, um, which is focusing on SESFIS API applications 15 and gives you an overview of, of, of all kinds of scenarios. That's basically a brief overview that you know what, what documents to look at, what reference guides to use. Um, um, we are also innovating in, in this one. So we have um, have a, have a new system repl replication with source agents. Um, so today you have Sapana SR for scale up, um, which came first, and then then we, then we did the um, Sapana SR scale out for, for scale out. It's an over 10 year old code base, um, and we decided to um, overhaul that to implement new features and opt optimizations in, in a better way. And we will continue the old um, the old framework for SAS 15. Um, during its lifetime, so there's no need to, for existing installations to update. But if you want, um, let me introduce you what we're doing. Um, so we have a single combined code base for both scale up and scale out, um, based on the experience and the uh, with, with, with the existing one and, and the existing implementations. Um, but merging those two, it's not fully backward compatible to, to either of them. So you need to do manual integration. But this one will be our basis for new features and optimizations going forward. Um, so I've look here at, 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 the, at the timeline. Um, now with SP5 com coming out, um, we will um, add soon a technology preview for scalar performance optimized. Um, we are adding the scale out code, uh, manual pages, um, automa Q QA automation, et cetera, and work with the first customers. Um, on the scale up in this case to, to test that um, and add first features here and then go go forward add more and more but if you want to learn more about our high availability stack including um hana um sr and ng um go to tutorial 1037 um, and learn from our architects there what's going on next thing is um even with a high availability setup, you don't want to switch all the time. You have um, security um, alerts coming in for, for your system and need to patch your system. With HANA, that's, that's, that might be a downtime. Even if, if you, you, you switch from primary to secondary, with other, um, and the starting an application can also take, take time. So what you can do here is um, a technology that we have developed or, and co-developed is, is live patching. Um, which allows to patch a system, um, run both kernel and libraries, um, and con con continue that way with, without any interruption. So we have here kernel, kernel spe spe um, patching for the um, Linux kernel it itself. Um, that is in some time part of the live patching extension, and both here um, provide fixes um, for CVS. Um, Security score seven and, and higher, um, plus also critical problems. Um, we, we, we might also fix critical um, critical crashes. Um, we, we allow we make those pages available for for each release of a Linux kernel and for our libraries um, for for a complete year so that you have can can install and have uh, uh, reboot um, one once a year. Um, that's so, so, so kernel live patching is also included for LTSS products and um, nearly every patch um, that that is security relevant um, are fixed with, with, with live patching. And in the meantime, we have delivered over thousands, thousands of live patches um, for all our supported kernels across all architectures. 
um, so proven technology. As as before, we introduced um, user space live patching um, with libpulp and um, enabled the first libraries, OpenSSL and glibc, um, to make that secure. Um, so you can only it's patching here the, the library parts of it. Um, to make that, you need to in install the, the live patches, packages um, to instrument them, and you need, need to um, load an extra library, and you can do that with the libpulp lib load, load default package um, that instruments all the, li the, the applications in the in in system um, to be able to, to, be, to be patchable. And then when a new, new um, glibc or OpenSSL live patch comes comes out, um, it gets installed and automatically all all the running um, all the instrumented applications gets 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 patched and um, any code that is executed is is a safe is, is a new code. Um, so that allows you to have a complete safe system um, all the all the time and, and running that way. So innovation. Um, is paramount everywhere. Um, let me talk about another area that, that, that we are working on, which is con confidential computing. Um, and confidential computing means, um, especially in the cloud environment, whom do you trust? Um, and we started um, with storage encryption, so data at rest. Um, Encrypt the storage so that it's only that if somebody steals your, your steals the hard disk, um, they cannot use it. Um, then the second step um, done over time is um, data in transit. Um, so zero trust network encryption, the data going from the disk, from the storage to your to your hypervisor um, gets gets encrypted. And then comes the next level um, where, where you have protect the data in memory and in the CPU. So if somebody um, is on your hypervisor and they cannot access the data, the memory and, and look at or look at the, the CPU, um, Neither from another hypervisor nor, nor from the um, nor, nor from the hypervisor it, it, itself. Um, that needs changes inside um, inside the Linux kernel um, and inside the hypervisor and changes for, for the CPU, um, but it doesn't need any changes for your workload or your, your code. So that protects you against outside and inside attacks and um, protects the complete stack in this way. Um, this is coming soon to, to the first next months. Um, okay, let's look at the roadmap in, in detail, um, what, what we have. And um, for most of the things that, that we have here, um, be aware um, that, in, that we have forward look at looking information in this complete slide deck, but especially in, in the next months. Um, and we it's, it's the whole, whole text here. And we, we might change that at any time. And we, we change it, um, especially also on your feedback. So engage with us, tell us your priorities and what you want us to change, um, what is important for you. So um, we have delivered as, as, as before, um, which um, is in some ways old news since SP5 is coming, but that's the next slide. So what, but let's look what we have as, as, as before. We have here the, um, Five areas um, our release core configuration compliance, observability, security, and automation. And you see the this, this small um, rectangle here for, 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 for Trento, besides all the, all the Trento features we have. Um, so in the, in, the, in the core, we have um, in, in implemented the simple mount structure. We have um, system D support added for, 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 for NetWeaver. We have, we, have, we have done some HANA certification, configuration compliance, um, a lot of work that has gone on on, on, on Trento. Um, and we have added sub, sub to version, version three. Um, of observability, um, partly in Trento, but, but also Prometheus and Grafana as, as external frame, frameworks that, that you have. The security, um, the secure su supply chain that's um, to be as mentioned, and the EIL4 plus certification of, of SLES. Um, and we have a solid Terraform framework for automation. And um, if you look forward to, to, to the next, on the next slide here, we have what we have in S SP5. Um, we've added, we mentioned already some of that. So I'll skip over those, but we have in the core, we added um, with SPS 07 of HANA um, 2.0, um, their system based support um, that is also available here. I know that some of those, even while we label them under SP5, have been already. Um, Delivered to our customers via maintenance updates. 
you will do for each service pack is um, a HANA certification um, and that is starting already. Um, Trento 2.0 includes an SSHless um, checks engine, a new engine that we changed the way it, it was working. Um, we are starting now also working on um, on that we were we were on high available scenarios and we'll, we'll add over time um, LDAP integration. So that's the next coming ones. Um, but I bet we'll tell you more in, in that. Um, for observability, we have also included the Intel Performance Counter Monitor um, that allows you to do monitoring of your um, of your memory, especially, and to to see or monitor that over this time to to see whether you're, that might help you to identify broken um, broken DIMMs or soon dying DIMMs, um, and also performance regressions. Um, security wise, um, yeah. We will add in in intra into hardening checks. Um, we are looking at at vulnerability checks, um, and we are working here on um, Ansible, um, focusing on deployment. As a statement of direction, so after um, that's SP6 and and, and beyond, um, we will continue our HANA certification for each release. Um, so after after SP5 comes an SP6, and then, then comes for sure also an SP7. Um, and they will each, each be um, supported by us for four and a half years. Um, green IT tuning is, is one area for configuration compliance. We will add further checks for HANA and NetWeaver, um, in include multi-tenancy, um, improve monitoring and do an ITSM in integration. Um, we're looking at log aggregation, security scanning of systems. Um, we're looking for aut automation, um, expanse automation, but also include automation into Trenzo itself. So for some basic operations, including patching um, of the SAP kernel, host agent, but also of the operating system. Um, so that's on the roadmap. And if you look at what, what we're supporting here for the, that's the, the plan for the next 24 months, um, but our support for SAP goes beyond that. As I said, SP7 comes. Um, so next year we will have a SP6. Um, a year afterwards comes comes SP, SP7, and we will have um, continuous releases um, for multiple years, um, for a long long time for SAP, SAP workloads. Um, each release comes um, gets. So if you look at here at, at, at SP, SP4 that came out. Um, Last summer gets supported general availability for, for 18 months. Um, then at the end, end, end of the year, it, it goes into, into SBOS, um, ex extended service pack overlap support, um, where we have another four, um, three years of, of, su of su support, support for it. Um, and afterwards, um, you can have um, as, as well reactive um, long term service pack support for those. With that, um, we are at the end of what, what I want to talk about um, on our roadmap, but um, there's more here at SUSECON about um, SAP and SUSE. So um, if you're here in Munich, um, I recommend to go to Alberto's session and learn from him with Trento and discuss your needs. Um, learn about SUSE high availability, um, see what, um, see a customer use case of, of smart, city, smart city digital transformation, um, Look into overall um, roadmap for for SAS 15, um, and look at the security um, presentation and, um, for for secure as a, as a SAP platform. Um, in addition, we have also many um, SAP sessions on demand. I'm not going over all of them. I just let that stand here for a second. Um, please have a look what what's what's interesting for you and and look at those um, to a deep dive into into further areas um, that you haven't had table time to touch in this session. With that, I thank you um, for listening to us and wish you a great day. Thanks and bye.